Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I just jumped into Two Man, and for some reason I thought I was hitting yes, um, because it was my recording software, but instead I actually mulliganed, and I think it was a pretty sweet hand. And then I cursed a bunch, so I deleted it, because I didn't want you to hear all my nasty words. Alright, so... We are sitting here with some lands. I'm not saying the mull to six was a really good keep. Um, I think I have to hold up this essence scatter just because Geist is so strong. Um, I just want to make sure the land I play. I'd love to abundant growth, but if he's playing blue, or white, red Geist deck and I let a Geist resolve, I'm dead. So I really have to be smart with this essence scatter. This dude's obviously getting attacked by a bunch of birds. Oh, sorry, Broski. I had it. Alright, well, he's, that puts him at four cards, so that's always awesome. Oh, God, this deck is just like, hey, guess what I love doing? It's flooding. This deck loves to flood. <clears throat> Like Floodzilla. Alright, negates and a gate. I mean, it's nothing special. It's hand. Jeez, with all these cards, you would think stuff would be fun. Okay, apparently you just talk shit about a hand, and then it's like, nah, bro, it's cool. I'll just do stuff. Alright, if this is a dragon, yikes. I am faking that I have Dissipate, though, pretty strong. But I'm pretty sure he's got something here. I mean, all it takes is this and Dragon, and me to have lots of land. Yep, you gotta jam it there. Jam on it. I have very few outs to this card. Very few. And Rancor is not one of them. Okay. Let's see how fast you can kill me. It's two more turns. Well, at least I have more negates. That's good, because that's helping the current situation. <laughs> yeah, do something. Like, burn me, Snapcast, or burn me. I'm dead. I, I guess I just have to counter a, a Searing Spear. I might just go like Resto Angel. I can't counter that. It's unfortunate, but I just can't bring myself to counter that. I guess this was my fault for mulling. Ooh, Strayer Slayer Stronghold, eh? You just you just played a card and you just made me sound Canadian, so that's awesome. Okay, so Odds are you're going to try to kill me now. But I'm going to say negate and then detention sphere. That's what's happening. There's really no reason for him to do that unless he has the burn. Alright. No difference going to one, so I'll let that resolve. This time I say no. Yeah, that's right. that's right. I said no. You gotta kill me with the creature. That's an interesting card. Okay, now I say yes. Alright, well, we would have never known because that hand was garbage. Okay, so what comes in against this deck? You don't really want Azorius Charms. I mean, they race okay, but they're not fantastic. I guess more Essence Scatters. More Dispels. Rest in Peace is eh. Ground Seal is probably a little bit better. Well, Rest in Peace is actually possibly better since it does things like, I don't know, get rid of tokens for Lingering Souls. But I don't know if that's like a new tech. 
that he has I just lost a rest in peace <laughs> can we come back please dude I know oh god really now there's like an extra rest in peace in my deck somewhere and I can't find it come back please by color by rarity well, there's currently none in my main deck. All right, well, if we have uh, an extra rest in peace, you know whose fault it is. All right, Detention Sphere is not as good as Oblivion Ring. Um, these are really just not even strong in this matchup. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Hey, rest in peace. What's up, buddy? These aren't really that strong. They don't hit Geis and... I don't think they're playing walkers. So I guess we're going to do this. Feeling of Dread is also not awesome. I mean, it's okay, but it's really not awesome. This will put in this Azorius Charm. Alright, I mean, it's between this and this. I think the rest in peace is not necessary. So if he makes tokens, he makes tokens. I really don't want these. Let me know what you would have put in. Um, if you would have put in these Feeling of Dreads. I guess they do help win the race. You know what, I'm bringing the Feeling of Dreads and I'm just cutting these charms. All right, let's submit. I'm sure my opponent was happy that I took all three hours to sideboard. Okay, um, if this hand had a blue source, I would debate keeping it because it fights a Geist really well. But since I have no blue source, I'm guessing I'm just going to mulligan this. I also have no draw, no action. Yeah, this is better. This is actually a lot better. So let's keep this and try to do things like draw cards that's a very nice draw we'll be able to get our geist into play first so that makes me smiley faces let's play an invisible stalker we'll pass be nice to draw some armors Armors on Stalker is pretty much like a big middle finger to the world. Um, hmm. Now, it's very likely he's got an Essence Scatter for this. So the fact that I can't protect it now kind of really makes it so like there's no point in playing it out this turn. I know I probably should be playing into his counter spells, but there's just so many counter spells that he could have that I just can't risk it. And it's very unfortunate that I may have to use my Geist on the defensive. Cause like I can't go Geist counter and then he plays his own Geist and then I'm just like, oops, I'm dead. Alright, now I can do that though. But now we've also given him an opportunity to draw another out. So I don't know how this is going to fly, but we'll see. We could have given him a turn to draw a counter here. Could also be playing right into classic yeah see we gave him the out of dissipate there so I guess that was incorrect now if he plays his own guys now we're behind but it looks like we're not going to be in that predicament looks like we're gonna be trying to jam this geist and praying that was pretty god-awful I must say time to stalk you Chipping away. He's chippy. 
Chip, 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 chip. Chip, chip, chip. Okay, so he takes. Play this untapped. Play Geist. Possibly getting bonfired here. I have to unfortunately counter this. Yeah, that was pretty awful, that dissipate play. B4 by me. I guess I should have just tried to jam into his into his essence scatter. Now we're just out of gas completely, and he's got anything he wants. I mean, it's going to be harder for him to really beat my guys since they're both hexproof. But if this is bonfire, I'm just like toast, cinnamon toast crunch. All right, thunder maw, and we're off. He might just hold back, but I wouldn't think so. Since his Thunder Mob kills us before this. Alright, what I have to try to do here is draw an armor. Oh, well, let's play an armor. Let's play an elf. Elf armor activate. So this makes seven. Wow, I cannot believe that actually worked. All right, this is unblockable, so let's be smart. Put that there. And we are just all about the overextension this turn. Unfortunately for us, we can't kill him. And he's at seven. Oof. I mean, it might just be better to fake that. Putting it on the Geist doesn't prevent him from blocking um, with this, and it has Vigilance anyway. But we might have just mized one. I mean, he can kill us if he has, like, mad burn, but I don't think so. I don't think he... He'd have to have another red source and like pillar searing sphere searing sphere so he'd have to have a four card combo in hand I'm gonna have six and just be like oh alright well either you got me or you don't unfortunately we don't I mean we do technically have him on board but if he holds back a turn that's in that's troubling for us also he can have a variety of answers to this armor so we'll see what he decides to do. Oh, an action okay. junction, the other 3-3. So three, three. He has nice a draw. So he had the detention sphere for the armor. Um, and now we just have to kill him with this, I believe. We should be able to. So let's make sure we tap our mana. We did draw, like, really well. That was probably the best possible draw we could have had. I mean, he still can have, like, a Searing Spear, but that doesn't really do much. And now we get to make an Angel and just bash for seven. So we drew pretty well that game towards the end. Can't say we played well, but we definitely drew well. Okay, Unsummon. Ooh, all right, he's got a turn. Can't do anything about that. So we'll put him to two. And we will kind of hope for the best here. I mean, we have two unblockable guys. And we have this. So we really shouldn't die this turn. Except for to a bonfire of the damned. And it doesn't, doesn't have it. So that's good for us. All right. Um... We're on the draw. He has detention spheres. I don't think we want this card draw. 
kind of want Swift Justice for some odd reason. It doesn't get past Resto Angels, which is pretty annoying. That's the only problematic thing. If we're not playing that, I guess maybe we should be playing our own Detention Spheres to try to get things back. But we're at a severe disadvantage this game, I would say. Feeling of Dread actually worked out nicely that game. I was going to take it out. So that worked out, and that seemed to be pretty good there. Um, he has Unsummon, so Rancor isn't as good, but that goes for essentially all of my things. Spectral Flight may be more of a liability, since he's got Thundermaw Hellkites, since it, you know, pretty much will tap my flighted creature, but I would think I'm swinging with it anyway. I'll go with one Spectral Flight and see how we, uh, how we rock this thing out. I don't love this hand at all. Um, it's got two Rancors, no dudes, no blue sources, no fixing, no card draw. Seems like a keep. No, I'm kidding. It seems like a mulligan, unfortunately. I get the bad mulligan feeling, but, you know, what could you do? All right, well, we got to draw a white source. I'm not mulling to five. We we just lose. We're on the draw. We pretty much lose to a mull to five, so we just need one land and go. That was not it. I said one land and go. We also have to be careful because this hand is god-awful against that land please oh you swear words I should have mulled I mean we are playing a lot of lands for this deck he's just so in control now well at least we have a land just a little bit late you sir are late I mean he hasn't done anything yet oh man pulling back in well the thing is we can't protect this so I'm just gonna wait and see if we want to negate or counter some of his things oh he hits the fourth source that is not cool Ugh, another essence scatter I can't get this guy killed so Oh, thank you for doing this on my end step. I, I'm just tapped, though. So now if he wants to jam something, he can just jam on it. Geist of St. Trev just kills me here. Come on. Oh, really? Another one? He's only got one blue source. Man, he's going to be tight. Sure. hes I would say he's still going to win this game, like a million percent. I, I, would, I would feel pretty confident that he's just going to slam something through my three lands here. Oh, nice top deck. There's no reason he shouldn't have played that. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to play a stalker. And we have to deter him from attacking. That's what we have to do. Oh, you silly girl, you. You're so invisible. I wonder what he could do. He could probably, like do things. Alright, that probably means he's got another Resto Angel. I mean, I got First Strike, so I don't know. Sue me if I get blown out here by anything. I think he's just got another Resto Angel. Yep. I'll take four. Three Resto Angels is pretty fantastic. Uh, finally... Hmm. 
Alright, if I play this armor... We gotta... We unfortunately gotta go for this. I'm not saying this turn is correct to go for it. How much do we take? Three... Three, five, nine, we go to seven. Go to five. All right, it's a spicy race. Well, we're in two turn clock mode, boys. So what we need to do is we put him to 10. Pray he doesn't have backup for detention sphere. However, I think we're gonna get this one. The funny feeling I have is, no matter what he does, we have our own detention sphere. And we're just going to detention sphere it, and then we're going to be like, bam. Alright, we take nine, we go to five. Do your worst, my man. Do your worst. 10 10 wins. You give us something, and we'll give you the world. Do 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 but it says I won. Oh yeah! Whoop 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 whoop! That's what you get when you suck at magic, and you just have three thermal <laughs> armors. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was thoroughly fun for me. I didn't even do math to be honest, but hey, why not, right? Thanks for watching. And on a high note, please check out the mtgnoob.com. Thanks.